five distance killing mistakes. What are the top five things we saw in 2019 for young throwers that were crushing their throws? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation. In this video, what we're gonna talk about are the top five mistakes made by young throwers that we saw in 2019. Let's dive in. The first thing we notice is athletes diving in and leading into the throw with their upper body. So they're throwing with the shoulder and then they're throwing the shoulder open at the finish. If you look at our videos and you understand what we're teaching in our system, the lower body always is moving ahead and you're moving the hips ahead of the upper body, especially this hip ahead of this shoulder. This is key. When you come out and you do this, you're gonna land in the shoulder and the hip land together. And then if you're trying to throw and you're opening again, you're pulling this shoulder forward on top of this and it absolutely crushes your throw. So our number four, what we would do is we're talking about when we set up, we're talking about the narrow sweep. The narrow sweep will cause over rotation. And again, it's one of those things that's not gonna allow that lower body to get ahead. One of the key things is that the knee and the sweep has to come out nice and wide and you wanna have that foot more open so we have this rotational path. We don't wanna see the pendulum type swing that's creating this movement where you're kind of going here and here instead of out and around. If you look at the top throwers in the world, you're gonna see that nice big wide sweep, whether it's the discus or even the rotational shot put. So the narrow sweep, one of the simple tips is keep the foot out. We fix all these things with so many throwers and that's what the throwing chain reaction system is. Links down below, so check it out. Okay, the third biggest mistake, and this absolutely crushes distance. Where do we see the orbit? When the orbit gets like this, too high here, you usually see this orbit reversing here. And then you'll notice as I come to this way, when I'm here, I'm pulling, the discus is dropping down and I'm in this orbit. One of the things we talk about is when we show people and how they're winding the discus, which is why we wanna see this generally pretty even orbit. And of course we wanna hit the proper high point here in the throw. So we're feeling this point and the discus is gonna come around here. But what we see are the athletes coming around and we see the discus down low, and when the discus is low, that prevents the rotation of the foot in the middle, and then as they come around, everything's catching up, and they're losing sling. So the reverse orbit is an absolute killer. So remember, the key to a, the proper orbit of the discus, we're gonna keep it controlled here. The orbit kind of comes down, and it comes up, and then it comes out and around and it goes out into the throw. So now we're next for number two. And number two is what we call as the improper entry. In the throwing chain reaction system, we call this pillar two to three. And so as we've seen, if we're leading with the shoulder and we have a narrow sweep, this axis collapses. And now the athlete is falling off balance. The thrower's falling into the circle. They can't rotate and create speed into the circle. This is one of the things we have a video called the Holy Grail. This particular pillar has one of the most number of drills in our throwing chain reaction system. So what we're trying to do is show you that the entry axis essentially has to move around and you have to get around the axis to create sprint into the circle. But that entry axis has to stay strong level, powerful, and be able to move around into this position. Now we'll bring us to our number one thing, which is of course, failing to set up the throw correctly. What we teach is the throwing chain reactions. We have a six pillar system. So yes, number one is setting up the chain and setting up the whole throw. And that's critical because it makes the rest of the throw automatically closer to correct. You're automatically gonna be doing better at the other aspects of the movement when you start correctly. So number one, one of the simple tips we would tell you is to stay more centered and controlled, and that's gonna help you get to that item number two that I just pointed out to get you around. It's gonna help you create the wide sweep. If you're not setting up properly, and we don't have the nice long path in the discus, we don't get this type of motion coming into the throw, and you can see that. So we wanna keep the long path set up, and when we wind the discus, we're always avoiding the figure eights 
and the multi winds that what is going to help you set up better throws and train the other aspects of your throw your other six pillars okay guys so that's one of the things we've seen athletes from all over the country all throughout the year even in other countries and these were the top five things that we saw repetitively at our camps at private trainings that we see all over the place and we see frequently on video analysis submissions and everything else and if you are doing any of these five things if you really want to learn how to throw the discus correctly the glide or the rotational shot put be sure to click the link below check out inside of our program we've got a ton of new content we've got a ton of new courses we got a bunch of new stuff and again the whole goal is to help more coaches and throwers to help our sport bring more attention to the sport and make things better long term so hopefully you found that helpful thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video this video what we're going to talk about are the top five glide killing mistakes that we saw over and over again in 2019